Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for video number 97. Anyways, um, as the title says, Jim Jr., we're using one of those tonight. Um, so let's go ahead and get in the shave, see what I'm using. Like I just said, Jim Jr., I ended up getting it for Christmas from my girlfriend. It's a little gold Jim Jr., 1912 style head. I'm not sure exactly what year this one was made, but it does have the 1912 style flip top head. The blade in it is, I'm not sure it's either a Jim Blue Star or a Jim Stainless Blade. I'm not sure which. The brush... Is a brush that my friend Christian out of Victorville, he requested it, that I use it in my next video. And it is this one, the Razor Rock 28mm Beehive brush. Nice, good backbone, big knot, 28mm. It's a wonderful lathering brush. I've used it before in another video. The soap I got from Dennis out of Oregon there. And it's in this container because it is a Franken soap. It's just a mix match of different soaps he had. The, um, they combine. And it's a light, fresh scent. Just a gorgeous scent. Not real heavy. About medium. Really hard soap. I'm pressing pretty hard and it's not making an indentation. I scooped out my brother. He was pretty much almost out of shave soap. So I split it with him when I got it. Um, and it's just a really, really good soap. I really enjoy it. So anyways, let's go ahead. Let's wet the face or wet the brush and get loading real quick. Just wet the brush because it's synthetic and just squeezed out the excess water. And we'll just start loading in the tub. Flick off that proto ladder. Get a touch of water. Update on what's on the razor that's coming. Um, it was out for delivery today, but the postman did not bring it. So I'll go ahead and you guys will get two videos um, in a row for me. This one I'll upload it and then the following day when I upload this one, the following day after uploading this one, we'll sit there and I'll upload the video with the razor. It's a nice heavy load. Go ahead and wet the face. Let me shut this door the rest of the way. Get load in here. As you can see, this brush built the lather really, really quick. Hey, the magic of YouTube editing. Anyways, so yeah, I'm back. I got a good lather. It's not the big old Santa Claus beard. But I don't need Santa Claus beard. Alright. Had to rinse my handle off.
or the brush handle, I should say. I hope everybody's doing good. Here in this time of um, global crisis, so to speak. Um, if you're in Italy, um, Asia, any of the countries that's hit really hard by this by this virus, um, my heart goes out to you. And good luck to you and your loved ones. This Jim Jr. is an incredibly efficient little razor. I mean, I've got like three days growth and it just took it right down. I've got a Jim Featherweight. And um, it's got 1912 style head. And it's not as efficient as this. It's a little more aggressive than that. And Jim Featherweight, that's for sure. Nice audio feedback. Check to these gems if you've never used one. And ride the cap. In other words, have that cap almost flat against your face. Thank you all for your comments on the last video. I am now up to 88 subscribers. And a shout out to my latest subscriber, which is Christopher David Bailey or CDB. Welcome to the channel, Chris. I know you got a lot of knowledge when it comes to wet shaving. If you ever want to share anything in the comments, feel free. Anyways, I'll go ahead and rinse off and or just put rinse. And we'll go ahead and after I dry my hands, line it back up for pass two. If you follow Sinatra Lennon, if you're a subscriber of his, uh, last week, he, three days in a row, put out videos where he was playing the piano and singing. Definitely have to say the guy 
very musical fella, but of course, you know, he plays in, you know, bands and Zen Beetle tribute band. And so, that wasn't surprising when I saw that he had put stuff up. I was a little bit surprised though when I saw that he was doing piano. Because, you know, you never heard him talk about playing the piano, which is cool that he does. Um, I had a chance as a kid, friends of mine, their mom, she played piano in the church, church choir, and every day her two boys, they had their piano lessons, and going across the growth. They had their piano lessons and she went ahead and asked me one day, she's all, Lance, would you like to learn to play the piano? And of course, being a kid, I'm like, pianos, no. I didn't say it to her, I was thinking it. I'm like thinking, pianos, no, pianos for sissies and, and this and that. And, course you know, I was like 11 years old so I had the 11 year old mindset oh no girls usually you know girls play pianos oh I won't play guitar or drums or of course never really learned those <laughs> Oh. Learned a little bit of the bongos when I got older. I got to where um I could play What's his name? Um, Carlos Santana, Black Magic Woman on the bongos without butchering it too bad. Um, Elmer Fudd, or Todd, if you're watching, um, thanks for putting me in that list for the people who did the 54321 challenge. Um, appreciate that. That was a fun challenge to do. Just gonna paint on. Yeah, I went to the doctor and got my lab work done so I could send the paper I work off to guide dogs for the blind, which with this corona thing, shh, I'm not holding my breath on going up in the summer. But um, I'll send them the paperwork anyways. And um, yesterday my pharmacist calls and Left a message on my phone saying we have a medication for you. And I'm like, medication for me? Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. I got my acid reflux pills. I got my colitis pills. I got my allergy pills. Got my pills for my back. Um, what in the world could it be for? So I call them up and this morning, I'm like, okay, what, 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 what medication do you have for me? Oh, I forget the name of it, but I'm all, what's that? Cro against the growth, up at an angle. I'm all, okay, what's, what's that one? Oh, it's generic Lipitor for cholesterol. Your doctor went ahead and he sent it over. I'm, Cholesterol? Oh, crap! I got high cholesterol, man. So, <sighs> and 
Now I'm taking Lipitor, or generic of. As Jim Jr. is getting me really close in this soap. Really, really, really good soap. Dennis said he just threw a bunch of stuff together and did good, Dennis. I've had no, the razor ain't skipped once. I ain't got no cuts. I don't think I got any nicks. I mean, just goes really, really, I mean, really good shade of soap. We are finally I mentioned in the last video, but we're finally able to get toilet paper. <laughs> Luckily, we had enough. And, um, my girlfriend was saying that Winco was like, if you go ahead and you buy multiple things. Don't bring it back. Whatever you get, you keep. I guess Costco isn't going to be allowing people to bring back, you know, toilet paper. And I agree with that. If you were stupid enough to go out and buy 20 years worth of toilet paper thinking that the world is ending, which, well, let me take that back. If you were one of those people that thought you had to buy 20 years of toilet paper and not thinking of anybody else because you thought the world was ending. YouTube, now, Paul H. Films, uh, Rockwell it. Model T to Razor Vertical Line of Bate Y Lom Anti I Voice Over Off. Uh, if you heard my phone talking, guys, I apologize about that. I forgot to turn my voiceover off. Um, very, very nice. Oh, this little spot right there. My phone was letting me know that Paul H. just uploaded a video. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. I'd say that's a shave right there. Little spot right there. All right. Go ahead and rinse off here and and hit the alum. Get the alum wet. Oh, not too bad. A little bit. Got little spots here and there that's yelping at me, so to speak. There. Anyways, I'll go ahead, rinse off, and see you back here for the post. Now, BBS guys, B. B S. And my noggin's got a couple little spots where it's not BBS, but you know what? I ain't so anal about my dome as I am my face because um, I ain't quite as anal about my face as I used to be, but I like to make sure all the whiskers are gone. But when I go outside, I wear a hat, so. Yeah, you know, don't want to 
burn my burn my melons. So, anyways, let's go ahead. T. Dickinson's witch hazel. Yeah, like I was saying before, we were so rudely interrupted by my phone letting know, letting me know Paul H uploaded something, so I forgot to put it on airplane mode. If you're one of these people that go out and buy, you know, buy up all the toilet paper, buy the end of the world's hit, and after all said and done with, if you look and you say, oh my God, we got all this toilet paper and all these paper towels and all this other stuff and you know, what am I going to do with it? I'll just take it back to the store. Well, you didn't think much about those that you would be affecting by buying up everything in sight. So, you know what? You deserve to be stuck with it. And if you went out and you bought it because you figured, no, I can make a profit on eBay or, or Amazon or whatever, FB Marketplace, and you bought up it all that way so you could go ahead and charge, you know, marked up prices because you know people are going to be desperate, then, well, be offended or not, but you're a fucking douche. Um, pardon the language, but that's what you are. Anyways, Dove Aftershave Balm. My girlfriend picked it up for me. I was almost at New Year. So let's see how this stuff does. But, you know, there's people out there, elderly people and disabled people, that uses that stuff too and they just can't jump in the car and shoot down to the store and get it and when they can get out well they walk in a store that looks like a bomb went off in it and there's nothing on the shelves like the apocalyptic the apocalypse has come and you know think of your grandmother or your grandfather or you know your disabled neighbor that couldn't go ahead and get to the store maybe more than once a week. Think about them, you know? Think about them not being able to get what they need. Because that's basically what people that bought everything up did. They took everything and left with nobody. I mean, we saw a thing on the internet a face or Facebook, whatever. Some poor lady, she went ahead and she had a baby and no baby diapers, no wipes, no baby formula, nothing. I mean, think about those young mothers or those struggling mothers that, you know, they walk in and it's like, how am I going to feed my baby? How am I going to change my baby? Whatever. So, anyways, rant done. Anyways, let me find the aftershave. Tonight's aftershave, I asked my girlfriend to pick it out because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to pick. She smelt the soap, and so she went with the Old Spice. Because she thinks the uh, scent of the Old Spice is a good mix with the uh, soap I used. So, woo, got a little bit of bite. And if you're a subscriber of mine, there's lots of people that subscribe that I ain't getting notifications of because of the way they got their, you know, their YouTube stuff set up. And so if you're a subscriber and I've never given you a shout out, let me know. Or if you become a, you know, let me know that you're a new subscriber or longtime subscriber and you know, just say, hey, give me a shout out and I'll do and I'll do so. Anyways, guys, that's the shave. It was wonderful. The 28 millimeter Razor Rock Beehive brush. Spectacular job. Um, really like that brush. Got a, got a really nice comfortable handle. 28 millimeter knot. It's a plus soft knot, so it's nice and soft. The 1912 style Jim Jr., incredibly efficient razor if you 
if you come across one on eBay and you've never tried a single edge, or even if you have and you've never tried a Jim Jr., get it. It's worth it. Um, the Persona um, or the Jim, well, it's, they're made by Persona pretty much all the Jim, you know, uh, a lot of your Jim blades are. But, you know, Jim, either Blue Star or Stainless, I can't remember which, did a great job. Comfortable blade, comfortable razor. Franken Soap by Dennis, really nice soap, gave a great lather, and just all around a wonderful, wonderful shave. Anyways, I'll let y'all go, and um, I'll post this in the next day or two, and the following day, you guys will get to see the new razor. Anyways, y'all have a good one. Once again, thanks for joining me. Y'all take it easy in these uncertain times. Um with the virus going around and you know uh just relax and kick back and visit with your you know enjoy being with your family anyways uh talk to you later and i'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade bye bye now